All right, so look, we got meat. So, oh yeah, if we give meat to our boy, then maybe we won't have to kill Beetlejuice, but that's kind of a net negative. What if we give Beetlejuice the meat and then we'll chop him while he's eating? No. What if we just glue his fucking legs down and destroy him? <laughs> Damn it. All right, fine. What, you want it? No? Okay. Well, granted, I guess it is his meat in his house, so why? Wait a second! He said that there was no food going around these parts of town, but he has a lot of food inside of his house, including blueberries. Mm. All right, let's go back, but, but take the spooky pills. Mr. Midnight! Bloop, 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 look, friend, I'm in danger. Uh, take my meat. I don't know. Oh, I'm glitched. I'm glitched. <laughs> I don't think we can save him. Take the axe. Alright, we're, 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 we're dipping. Oh, you can't enter. Alright, well, let's enter and then use it. Oh. I'm not taking that bag. Oh, put the meat somewhere and then they'll 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 move and I can grab it. That's got to be it. But where? I feel like a million percent this is the answer. Is it really not? Hmm. Dude, I swear I did that before too! Alright, we got it. The bag is mine. Alright, we're good. That's all we needed. So, can we open it up? Ooh! A rat trap and some sort of card. Exterminator. <laughs> can you guys read this? One second. I think if I crouch, I can see it better. Oh, yeah. I mean, it says John Plummet 71421728. Um, but I can, like, even read some of the fainter text. Interesting. I mean, we could use the rat trap to maybe, like, set it for when Mr. Piggy runs away. Yeah, let's, let's head out for now, I guess. Oh, I'll tell him I can't, Kate, I can't take them. They won't allow me to take them. They will never allow anything. If you trap one of them, maybe it'll be easier. Okay. Okay. Oh, so what if we like... Yeah, yeah, then we go touch the berries. Oh, man, he's gonna get so fucked up, dude. Oh, no! Oh, this, this is just... This is gonna be kind of sad, to be honest. One last knock on the floor. Oh my... What if, what if I knock him and he falls onto the trap and the kid just gets fucking yeeted? Oh, you're close, sonny boy. All right, well, it's it's time... It's time... Well, all right, one more for... One more for the road. All right, two more for the road. Oh, okay, that wasn't bad. Now mom's hitting me! Jesus, God. Mom! Oh, I got it. Okay, I don't I don't really know what changed there, but sure. <laughs> Alright, but let me go back in. I want to take them out of the trap. Oh, they locked the door? Well, listen, I was going to help you. That is fucking dead. 
Oh, he died? Oh, shit. I didn't even notice. I thought he was fine. I thought he was just like, ouchie. I, I thought he wasn't that hurt. I thought his pinecone exterior was, like, strong. And he was like, I'm fine, honey. Just defend the kid. Little did I know he's fucking dead. All right. Eat the berries. All right, Timmy. Oh, no. He's actually so cute. Look at him. He's such a happy boy. This could become like a twitchy mode, I swear to God, for some like memer. He's so cute. <clears throat> Oh, it's the motherfucking rat! What? You are not my cat. Oh, miss, you saved me from misery. But the rare is Mr. Midnight. I assume you are feeling disappointed. What are you looking for? My cat, my lovely cat, Mr. Midnight. Oh, miss lady, I'm not very fond of cats, you know. A black one with very big yellow eyes was trying to catch me. Really? My cat is also black. Wait, maybe that is my cat. Oh, my fine lady. If he is, he's the one in trouble now. Why? What happened? I can show you. Follow me, please. It's not too far from here. Why is his tail longer than his body? Is that normal for rats? Holy shit, it looks like a giant sword. Here we are. Somebody took him, miss. They just disappeared. Oh my goodness, could you be more specific? I wish I could. It looked like the earth swallowed him. If there is anything else I could do for you, just let me know. I'll be around. Well, yeah, I mean, I was kind of told that you snatched a comb. Excuse me, but did you steal a hair comb? Oh, the hair comb. The shiny, beautiful hair comb. Can I have it, please? All right then, but can you please comb my hair first? Of course, brother, I can hook ya. Yes, I can comb your hair. Ah, ah, not as cute, but cute. Now we're pogging out of our gourd. Our mouth is the same mouth as the pig. I swear to God, our mouth is the same as the pig mouth. Go back, rewind. It's the same. Thank you, my lady. You are very kind. I bet the, the freaking ghost statue thing is going to get mad because it's going to have a rat hair on it and they're going to execute me. But uh, they don't know that I combed them. They don't know. Have you found the filthy rat yet? Go find him and bring us the comb. Oh, I got you, champion. Here is your beautiful comb, mistress. Uh, uh. Oh, you friend the person, you finally did it. Hope the key opens the door for you wish to open, that you wish to open. Now we fly south, goodbye. Oh, beautiful. Goodbye, shiny mistress. Have a nice trip. Yeah, 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 yeah. This puzzle has been flowing a lot smoother than Chapter 1's puzzles, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, it looks like petting the rat really had no negative consequences, surprisingly enough. Um, now, at the same time, I'm wondering, what the fuck is this key used for at all? <laughs> Our whole reason for being here was to kill the piggy and get Mr. Midnight back, but Mr. Midnight ain't here. Probably something to do with Mr. Midnight drowning in here, eh? Do you think I can, like, just combine the doorknob with it? <laughs> Come on! Why not? Alright. Um. What if the rat had the black death? I don't know. I think we're all dead anyway already. I think we'll be fine. I feel like we, like, already did everything. Oh, no! 
Who did this to you? Is there really nothing to do with this corpse? Also, somebody said, how did he transfer between both worlds? There, there are things that stay in both worlds. Usually they just get fucked up and die and get corrupt or whatever, whatever. Oh! Oh, I thought maybe we could, like, put the doorknob on it and then, like, turn the key and it would just, like, open a hole. <laughs> Combined with glue. Oh! Okay, okay, first, 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 you, you do this. No! No way. Really? Dude, I would have, I would have bet you a lot of money that that would have worked. What the hell do we do then? It's not because we're in hell. There ain't even a freaking well here. What else would you use this for? Like, what do you mean? Can I take the axe back? No. You know what? I have an idea, actually. I, I, ha I have one idea. No! What do you mean? Yeah, I mean, I can talk to the rat again. He might have some, some, uh, some words of advice. Do you have an idea how to find my kitty? All I do, everything goes wrong. People that took your cat are from another world. Maybe they have a portal no one can see. What is a portal? A portal, lady miss, is a regular door, I think. I see, thank you, Mr. Rat. The portal is a regular door. What do you mean? Door? Door? Door! Ah, oh, shit, dog. Shit, dog. All right, this is it. If this is not it, I'm going to be bewildered. Okay, now. Let's freaking go, bitch. Oh, yes. Let's go. What a curious little door. <laughs> I wonder where it will lead me. Mr. Midnight, are you here? Uh oh. It sucked my eye and then pushed me down the hole. <laughs>